I will discuss the return merchandise methodology and our process for assisting a customer in that vein. Enjoy. Despite Discotech's legendary performance, sometimes even our customers request to return our magnificent merchandise. To begin the return process, customers should call Discotech customer service to voice their concern and request a return authorization. Customers should call Distex customer service telephone number shown here. We offer the standard return authorization, SRA, and the expedited advanced return authorization, ARA. If the customer wishes to receive a replacement or alternate product in advance of our receipt of their items to be returned, we can process a new order to ship the very same day. Once the type of RA has been determined, the RA number should be issued to the customer to write clearly in large letters on the outside of the shipping cart. At this time, it is of the utmost importance that you explain proper packaging protocol, or PPP. 1.5 inches or two centimeters in new money of bubble wrap or foam are required on all six sides of the merchandise. If multiple items are being shipped together, layers must be used between them. Reusing packaging that Distech has shipped replacement items to the customer in is a reliable way to ensure that the items are returned safely to us. And this brings us to the dark side of returns, better known as Improper Packaging Protocol, or IPP. Here are some of the horrors we've received in the past. The Diaper Wipes Box. The Number 10 Envelope. The Aluminum Foil Method. the newspaper technique. The other primary cause of IPPs is the customer belief that the product is defective and therefore should not be protected during return transit. However, this could not be more wrong. More than 60% of items returned due to failure are not defective. Manufacturers will not accept returns of items that are physically damaged. Therefore, disc tech will not accept returns of items that are improperly packaged. This concludes Training Film 14C. In our next installment, we will explore our Tsunami Emergency Survival Protocol.